What is this? What is this? Oh, who knew? Sympathy, or if they can figure out what their payoff is, ability to a talking therapy, for example. <clears throat> if somebody can identify what their payoff is, where they really can figure out, I'm doing this repeatedly, and my payoff is I don't have to work, or I don't get held accountable for this. Oh, so he's talking about image worship. So that's what he's learned from giving advice to people. Oh. But he says it's, well, just learn how to ritualize your behavior and rearrange your furniture. What a shame. Because he's saying, what is it of your worship, of what you're engaging in, that rewards you? Hmm or I'm escaping accountability over here or I get attention or sympathy or if they can figure out what their payoff is and they can then control that whether it's for themselves oh so identify and then manipulate it more control it be the rider on the mule and the mule on the horse and the horse on the carriage and the carriage on the horse what a shame themselves or their kids or whatever if you control the currency then you can control the behavior mm. oh he couldn't wait to deliver it if you control the currency you control the behavior wow so apply that patch that you just said to what you actually live what well, makes perfect sense the controllers of the currency which you think is money determines your behavior wow who knew but no it's the flesh that's the ultimate currency so yes you are the one that's being defiled pumped out into the counterfeit game that is snakes and ladders but you call it life what a shame what a shame you've been deceived and this guy is a high priest in delivering that said image of what you should be Bettering and supposedly rearranging. What a shame. All because of feelings and just identify what makes you feel good. But realize the negative effect of how it's hurting others and just devastation. You must grow up. Just mature. Be responsible and this and that and this and this. What a shame. Ultimately. It's just. He, he wants to just supposedly help people guide them through their image worship of themselves but he'll say oh narcissistic that and narcissistic this what a shame all because it's just bashhood from believing to be void of love unconditional that you relentlessly seek in the world and of others and within yourself even. Oh, I love myself unconditionally. I will rise like the phoenix. Smashed. Gutted by Wolverine. Yes. Gutted. Just eviscerated. But no, you think you're fine. You think you're marvelous. Walking so strong. Mm. Yeah, it's. it just seems that people have, uh, they have this comfort in their patterns. And even if their patterns are self-destructive, even if it's drug abuse or alcoholism or... The, the Who knew that the ultimate comfortable pattern is Groundhog Day? Whoa! Yeah! Groundhog Day! But somehow you're upset about this and that about Groundhog Day and this. And so you just deliver effortlessly like UNESCO. Tesco and the devil himself. Because this guy... The guys that probably see this guy as some awesome, amazing guys because they they see him as like, oh, man, this guy fights. He will knock you out in a second. Don't even challenge him. Look at him. He's, a, he's an ox. He's an ox. 
and he'll just smash you. And of course, he's so smart and this and that and has so many amazing cats and oh. But ultimately, it's just a murmur. And you will take on his perception. Because you think this is what the average man could, should be like. Yeah, you should just question everything. Not believe anything. Go with what you know de- with the devil himself. Yes, do it. Ba- because you're backed with a thousand points of fractal knowledge. Yes. The false promise. What's going on? Those, those, the comfort <clears throat> in those patterns, falling into those patterns. It seems very compelling to a lot of people. Yeah, and payoffs don't necessarily mean that it's a positive payoff. Right. I mean, a payoff for taking heroin is you get high, and so you're high for a while. That's not a positive payoff, but it's a payoff. Right. And if you if you get high and so you don't get a job and you don't take care of your kids. So that's the second time that he's mentioned jobs, okay, as a payoff. So as a payoff, you, you don't have to work. Now you don't have a job because your payoff is just to, like, shoot up and just blast. It's, that's a payoff that you're not doing things that you need to do that you should be accountable for. It's a pathological payoff, but it's a payoff nonetheless. And so that does reward you, even though it's a pathological payoff. It's a pathological thing. Uh, you c- Right. So who knew that it's a pathological dynamic way of living to actually live this way whether you could you whether it's some bash tells you that oh it's just these people that are that no it's a pathological just beat into you just bashhood it's bashhood and you're just traumatized you're the traumatized chicken with its head cut off just being bled out walking its last legs running for its life just bleeding out all because you worship it you worship it and you're like yes my payoff this is who knew it's the rewards of the flesh the pleasures of the flesh that you relentlessly seek a basket and also are sunk by and relentlessly try to stay afloat with it that defileth yes for that is the state of being void and why because you believe yourself to be void of truth, life, and, you guessed it, the ordinate behavior, ritual that this bash is talking about, that you live. And is that an ordinance with life, or, you guessed it, defiance, rebellion, disorder, and then the apparent control That you can manifest and stir up, cook up yourself and call it your ship to the abyss, your enterprise. Oh, yes. Call it a reward. And if you but if you can identify that where they say, look, I'm I'm not doing what I need to do. And I need to stop rewarding myself in that way and hold myself. I need to be there for my kid. I tell my kid I'm going to be there every day and I don't show up because I'm high on drugs, then, you know, I need to stop doing it. I don't need to, li- I need to not. Wow, what a shame. This person is saying, you people should be able to just do that. Oh, I mean, and that's why it's such a problem because all these drugs are just so addictive and this and that. No, it's not drugs. No, it's the way you are made to believe that is an escape to the life that you hate so much that you resent somehow but no it's just the drugs everyone resents life the behavior is no I found what I love and I'm doing it relentlessly I'm not making coin out of it right wow totally deceived for they believe that that's what life is to just be rewarded and have the good life by all the things life can offer yes what a shame what a shame what a shame why you don't even know why 
because you reject the true promise. For the counterfeit of boasting rewards and titles and s supposed friendships all based on the ocean called false love that you call multiples of love that you can just dish out and hold in and dish out wherever you want like a Care Bear. Just blast it out from you and then hold it back in and then blast it out and hold it back in and then blast it out and then hold it back in. No, what a shame. What a shame. Because this bash does, what is this bash telling you? He's telling you, listen, you need to just be, accept the accountability. Be responsible, everyone. Say no to the smack and yes to the what? The promise of your child to your child that you've relentlessly been void of. There's no truth in you. But no, still, even though there's no truth in you, still believe that you can do behaviors that are just not what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, so stop doing this and st start doing this. What a shame. No, it's about worship. What is that person worshiping that leads them to do that? Exactly. But no, you won't talk about that because it's just... Everybody's just trying to get better, okay? Everyone's just trying to get better. Leave them alone. They're all trying to just move on and get better and be there for their children. Let them be. What a shame. Yes. Let them be and relentlessly watch them saying fine great amazing that's why this person is just there trying to appear as he's lending a hand out no he's presenting a false way to see life and attempt to change it yourself all the while people are just relentlessly at each other's throats in all multiple swarms and fractals of legion that you can think of. All the while presenting some facade day in, day out of Dr. This, Lord that, public servant this, and this, and that, and that, and all playing a nice little game. Of favoritism and who's in favor today and who will get rewarded today. Yay! Who dishes out what money goes where and this and there and oh, just shovel this one. Oh no, erase that, burn this. Okay, instill this, write, rewrite this, inject that, propose this, negate that, edit that, then oh, okay, now we're good. Now blast it out, blast it in. Now rewrite it and put it through the massacre. Okay, now temperature check that, paste that, sprinkle here, sprinkle there, and you guessed it, nothing. Groundhog Day. Repeat. And now people are upset and people are just crying and boasting and pleasing and all of the sniffing art of, you guessed it, some bash. But this person has all the titles and expertise in bashhood. Yes. Yes, just filled. Look. He even has a little gadget to keep it in. Otherwise, it would just ooze out. But no, it's they're just headphones, right? Not let myself get away with that and instead require myself to show up for the kid when I say I do. Say I will. And so why this guy's just totally inverting you, contorting you because... It, it's truly about saying, I mean, denying the flesh in temptation. Because it's obvious to you, it's anyone who's in a behavior that, um, wh whether somebody on the outside would call it toxic or negative or this, the person knows, okay, they don't need to be told. It's not like they, they're told and then they're all of a sudden, oh, wow. 
Thank you. Oh, what a shame. No. It's just that they're at the level of just complete worship. Okay. Sucked off by the abyss. And it's so good. Do as I will. People worship that. But oh no. Let the people. Let the. We got to stop the drug addictions. And this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that. Smashed. Cognitive dissident split. Just don't know what's up. And just punch drunk relentlessly. And you call it love. And you call it love. And we're doing this to help people. We're doing this to help people. Well, no. No man can save himself. But it's the struggle that they sell. They say, yeah, well, you just have to say no to the drugs, man. Just wake up. You know, you got to just take that responsibility. Pick it up like the rest of the society. Who are a positive influence and role models because they follow through with what they say and this and that and this and this and that and this and it could be that but no it's this and th everybody presents him and this and that and this and that what are they saying nothing why because they want you to believe into just smashing yourself more you know just you just got to realize that you're you're doing your s no good. You're doing no good. No, they know. Yet everybody around them says, "No, you're the problem." No, it's the worship that's the problem. But the people around them will never admit that the what they're worshiping is the same thing that the person on drugs is worshiping. They just say, oh, no, it's just wrong. And then you see what's in the kid's eyes. You share the experience with them. Now that becomes your payoff. So then you'll start showing it for your kid. Yeah. Oh, see, no, see, no, you look him in the eye and that's the payoff. Right. Because otherwise, be before you were on drugs, but you still made eye contact, but you couldn't see. Ah, right. So. Why don't you talk about what you see? What are people seeing? They're just chasing dragons. Chasing the relentless false promise of some glory of some fantasy. Amazing. But you call it your dream and this and dreams do come true. Yes, in the package in the package way of the world. Using their, their tools and mechanisms of defilement and suffering. But no pain, no gain. And you must be able to just work your ass off to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve in this mash. But of course, these are the parameters and this and this. And the, the, those are the institutions and places you go and bash to try and get this that paper and this paper. And then go present it to this and hope here response to see if you can be part of the club. And if not, then you just relentlessly bash around, bash, bash. There you go, get another piece of thing, study that. Go into that little building and come out relentlessly for a few years and come out. And then just smash to another country and smash into another building relentlessly. And then come back to the country and then relentlessly some, uh, submit another piece of paper and then say this, this, this. I did. I've, I've done all these things and made the, so much money. So this is what I'm worth. I will boast you more money. So therefore, you must pick me in coin. Yes. And so all this smash hood is happening. And all this smash. Why? Oh, so you can just have a fulfilling life because that's what I love. I love to just roll around like the dust. I am a dust bunny. It's amazing because I am stardust. Because I am the dust of dust of dust that just blew up. Wow, amazing. I am the result of a flower igni instant ig combustion. It ignited. Who knew? 
some flower that was in the dust of some hot place and just blew up. What a shame. So, of course, respo- take some responsibility, he says. Well, responsibility of what? No, everyone is here living, seeing, and yes, behaving. So what are we behaving like? Are we beha- are we, What behavior? Could it be that there is a behavior that, wow, according to what you see and worship, Wow. Could it be? Yes, of course. So currently, the beha- of the so co- the so called behaviors of man are because of his just shattering by the light, worshiping the light, and the shape shifting ways of the light. Wow! Who knew? And they promised this and that and that, and then you go to war because of it. Because what you see is some past relative thing from what some other past thing we believe in that and it's not the same thing. No, no, it couldn't be in this and that. Smashed. Just fragmented, split by the light. You, you're worshipping some fractal belief, just corrupted image. Because should it, I mean, is it obvious that it should be the same thing that everyone is living? Wow, because it's life. Wow, who knew? And there is such a thing as what? Who knew? What? Yes. The way. A way. The way of life. Yes. So what is it? Do you see? No. Oh, it could be this. It could be that. And this. I choose this. And I like that. And this. And this. Based on my trauma. Yay. What a shame. What is going on? Exactly. No one knows. But it's say, they'd say it's culture. And they'd say it's tribe. And this. And this. And that. And that. And that. Fine. Who knew? Who knew? As diverse as the plants you see, but who knew? They don't... Wow, it's just relentlessly amazing. Because then you say, no, it should be just that. And they're th- and they are allowed to do whatever they want just because they have a way of what? Dressing? Uh, speaking, fine. Making arts and crafts, great. But should it still not be the same thing that you're seeing? Living? No, it has to be different because of the just different places and this and your surroundings and it, and it affects what you worship. What a shame. Defiled, opened to be influenced and shanked by the snakes of the abyss. Who knew? But no, it has to be just identify your reward. No, you chase the reward. That's why you're doing it. What a shame. So how can you identify? You know what it is. You smash hood. Smash hood. So ultimately, it uh, it comes down to whether that person will be what nothing it comes down to what they see yes always and of course ultimately they will either see or not see and engage with it oh but it's so sad and all these people are just lost to the abyss well who knew who knew but no, you call it this, and you call it fractals of multiples of names. And then try to relentlessly try to put them back together. And they're just, oh, it's just, it's just amazing to watch all these people try to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Because, oh, it's just so much sadness and corruption and this and this and that. Smash, no. It's all because of the shatter worship of light that you relentlessly take on. So it's like this pixie dust just relentlessly coming down on you and you can't even see. And you're trying to relentlessly pick it up and put it back to where you think it comes from. But no, it's just falling through your hands as it's sand. What is going on? 
just crumbling. Okay, what is this? How how many people take your advice? How many people just listened and tried a little bit? And then- Zero people. People just parrot what he says. That's it. Parrot. And they self sit in their living rooms and say, well, yes, I'm judging that person. He should know better. And this and that and this and that. All the while, they, even though they might recognize it as themselves, they're, they're still going to bash and smash and manipulate more and more and twist and twist and twist. And then bail. And shout. You know, it, it's hard to say because... It's hard to say? Shouldn't he know? I mean, he's a supposed professional that he should be like, all my cases are successes. You know what? At the end of the day, I just have relentless conversations of bash, and hopefully they take some advice. Meaning, hopefully they bought into what I have to, what I presented for the money they paid, and hopefully I brainwashed them enough to love themselves and relentlessly just recognize and grow and take responsibility and accountability, and this and that, and just word smash and word smith my way into the next chapter of my life. Having so much more empowerment, and this and that, and this and this and this, and the uh, people around me now see me as a recovered this and this, and it's just so amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Smashed. I think our sometimes our most productive guests are the ones that don't get it, because... The mail we get, <laughs> that they'll say, get it. oh, wow, that guy didn't get it or that woman didn't mm. get it, but I saw myself in them, and I'll never say that again. Mm. I saw them being such a right fighter or I saw them being so hard-headed or so oppositional, and I, I heard them say things I've said, and they left and didn't get it. I got it. I'll never do that again. So sometimes. So I got it and I learned. So I learned from my mistakes through their mistakes. What is going on? Those that don't get it at all while they're there are the ones that are the best teaching tools for the millions of people that are home watching. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, so those that don't get it at all while they're there are the most useful to those at home because they're like, can't you see? How can this person not see? Everybody at home is just like, yeah, see, I saw, so I'm the better one. And all this bash. All this just image worship and image of this and that and who. And the, oh, now he's, this is his deep thought stare. Is it? Interesting, isn't it? When you watch people fail and you go, oh, okay, I see that in myself. Yeah. I just got to not do what that guy's doing. And then also do you see the stubborn. No, you don't do that. You say, oh, phew, what an idiot, you know, because you say, that will never happen to me. You never say, oh, that's what not to do, because look at all these stupid videos that people put up, and like how people smash and this and this. No, you don't say, oh, I that's not what to do, because you still do really like stupid things. Whether, whether you hit yourself or fall or all this or nothing, no, it's still, you're, you're worshiping the same mash. As the people that go out and do all these stupid things on and capture on film. It's just that those people are just um doing as I will. They're clowns. Okay? Just like you. But you are the type of clown that supposedly is uh respectable and accountable at this, at this, at that, at this, and this. No. Little good worshiper of the light. Yes. Just like the guy that hits himself with a two by four. Because they worship the same thing. Wow, what a shame. Pig-headedness that some people have where they won't listen to advice. Mm -hmm. And you could clearly see how they're ruining their lives by not being honest. Yeah, and sometimes the story that we might have is... So they could see their fault in how they're not being honest. What a shame. Maybe extreme. Dishonesty is rewarded in the world. Who knew? Where you say, I don't do all six things they're doing, but I do two of them, and they are in sharp relief to me. So I get that. I ain't going to do that anymore. So, I mean, that's where I think you get a payoff. And, you know, people, 
go and find these things on the internet. I mean, last year, you know, we have a channel where we put up, you know, different clips and uh, divorce shows or parenting shows or whatever, and we had over two billion views, you know, last year of people just going and finding that information and looking at it. So at the little clips and this and this and that. Well, I know people billion. are seeking the information out and looking at it beyond the show itself. Mm. So, you know, they, they must be seeking information, and we just don't have a good distribution system. Oh, we just need to pump more. Uh, for mental health in America. So I think they look, I, I think they're hungry for it, and they look for it. Well, there's some. Oh, he's just saying, market. There's a market there, everyone. So go out there and smash and treat all this mental illness. Because it's, it's just ravaging across the nation. What a shame. So many people out there that are trying to do better. <clears throat> They're trying to get their lives in order. And, you know, shows like yours and, 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 you know, just advice shows, people that are giving out inspiration and knowledge. It's so it's such a, a an important thing for people, especially for people that didn't grow up with wise parents or maybe a good support system. He couldn't wait. Okay, what is he saying? Oh, it's great to have this information because people are just hungry for it because they didn't have wise parents. Whoa. What a shame. Because all this self-help stuff and all this, you know, supposed advice about this and that, of course, it wasn't taught out. Of, it was beat out of you. And now you're going back to the ones that beat out of you to get the supposed solution. Wow. If that's just amazing. So you were bashed, you know, sold into bashhood by your supposedly ignorant parent, according to this bash. And then defiled. And then now you're totally begging now at this point to be told what life is now and how what to make of yourself how do i just get better how do i get better smashed smashed the ways of man are derailed just relentlessly head on collisions okay and for what Oh, to say I did it and I went fast doing it. And wow, was it spectacular. It was a big explosion and a big smash. And it was awesome. What a shame. What a shame. Because what's, what's, what's really being said here? Nothing. System around them. <clears throat> you know... I think that's that's true, and they're, yeah, I grew up they're, they're saying nothing because yes, they don't teach you this stuff. They beat it out of you because one life, the child, wow, the vessel, wow, of just wow, the perfect. In in it in your in your kind, wow, and, but you feel you feel it and you defile it. Because instead of guiding it and saying, yes, life fills you. Wow. Renew it through the spirit of the true promise, life everlasting. Yes. No. You said it's like, no, you must just go out there and fight for your life. And fight for your right to live and freedom. And freedom this. So who's after your freedom? Why is freedom even challenged if it's supposed to be some sort of amazing thing? Why is there something that you think you should be fighting to keep? Keep? Who is holding that freedom? Who is dangling that freedom over you and saying, Well, we got to make sure we keep it. What a shame. What a shame. That is just trauma, just past, rattled. You are some marble in some can and about to be ejected as lube. As lube for the friction that's taking place. 
but you love it. You love it. You're saying, oh, the in and out and smash and smash and opening and stretching. Oh, it's so amazing. Yes. Well, what does it mean? Are you lost in perdition or do you see what it is? Wow. Up with a alcoholic father and it was a pretty violent home and and he was a really bad alcoholic and <clears throat> i know so the worst kind i mean he wasn't just an alcoholic he was the worst kind what does that even mean because of course you call an alcoholic an alcoholic isn't it that same thing no, there's gradients of alcoholism and this and this and that and this and this and that and this and this and this and that. Wow, what a shame, right? Why even call it alcoholism then? If it's so many different things and there's bad ones and there's good ones and this and that and this and that. No, what is going on? No clue. This person has no clue or at least will tell you no. It's multiple things, but we just call it this for study's sake. And this and this because they just guzzle alcohol in and then they do sad behaviors. But there's gradients of this and this and this. But then they're all kind of just liars and this. And they all kind of have similar behaviors and this. But no, there's just swamp bonds. That's just really bad. What a shame. What is going on? Having grown up in that you wind up with what I call a damaged personal truth. And oh, a damaged personal truth. You mean split? And it's just part of the another bash relative truth that anyone that's under trauma grows up in. Who knew? In their own little fantasy. Everybody learns how to create and live in their, inside themselves in their own little bash image. And that's what's posted. Not the relation to the father and life. And how you're relentlessly in it. Day in, day out. No, it's not that. It's about the little people that you meet. And, and call these ones friends. And those ones your enemy. What a shame. What a shame. And you feel second class. And the problem that kids make, and because I, I know I did it, and and I, and I see others do it, is you compare your personal truth, what you know about yourself, and you know how you really live, and what's really going on. You compare your personal truth to everybody else's social mask, because you go to right. So what what you actually supposedly know as what you daily live you constantly is what you see in others and what they mu s supposedly project or what you see on their surface is that what he's going to say some bash go to school and you know well i know that last night the windows got kicked out of my house i know that the utilities got turned off and i know there was a big fight in my kitchen last night and the kid sitting next to me, he's got on a shirt that's all ironed and his face is all bright and clean. And, you know, he looks like he's just got it all together. And you compare yourself to that person, that kid, and you feel like you're second class. And the problem with that is we generate the results in life we think we deserve. So if you think you're damaged, you think you're second class, you will generate results that you think a second-class person deserves. Oh, and why would that be? Exactly. Worship of image. Okay. Worship of the image of that you identify as life and how you place in it and how you can, how what you're supposed to do and what you deserve and this and that and what you should chase and this and that and all. Oh, I couldn't possibly do this or that or or attract that person or this or do this or have that or this smash just smashed relentlessly for what image worship because all the while you're smashing an image worship you're in the image of the creator 
all the while you're worshiping this little image and that one and that one and the other one and this and how you how how you feel in it and how it does to you and this and that no what is going on mm. so if you don't fix your personal truth then you'll spend the rest of your life saying well you know those really good results those belong for somebody else mm. that's not for me that's for somebody else and you'll settle for second best and you won't get what you might otherwise generate for yourself if you don't fix so they're always pushing to for just have aspirations wow just shoot for the stars relentlessly and what does that even mean i mean he's saying wow get just have a little bit of ambition just have a little bit of self-confidence man he says just go out there and tell everyone everyone just boast relentlessly but be humble at the same time and go for the best and just demand everything because you deserve it but also just know your means and the parameters of how you do it and be realistic and this and that smashed so which is it dr hooligan what is it fix your personal truth and so i think a lot of people are struggling looking how for to a way fix to your personal get truth out of feeling not shame. good about themselves and damage self-esteem damage self-worth and they really don't know where to go so uh, so you're just pointing out the obvious but what is at the root of that of all these people meaning everyone everyone has these root damage insecurities based on bashhood and that's why i do the show i don't look i'm not under the misapprehension that we're doing eight minute cures up there i mean come on you, I mean, come you, on we you, can't I, do this eight that. minutes but i think if you can point people in the right direction Bash. raise their awareness you can get them thinking about it you can create a narrative where they at least say you know how do i feel about myself i mean is there stuff i need to resolve i mean what am i saying to myself if you can get them thinking about that then you know maybe you've done something yeah. no if you get them thinking about it well they're already thinking about it if they're always thinking no i'm no good and no good so this bash You know, Tony, what am I saying to myself about it? People in the right direction, if you can raise their awareness, you can get them thinking about it. You can create a narrative where they at least say, you know, how do I feel about myself? I mean, <laughs> so just go out and yell at somebody, oh, yeah. Somebody that's, oh, poor me. I never, I don't deserve anything. Just somebody comes up and says, yes, you are, you are, you deserve it all. Hopefully they that that bashed, uh, they'll believe it, and then the person left there and said, "Maybe I do believe it. Maybe I am. Maybe, yeah." And then they go out and smash. So it's just encouraging the blind to go out and think that they can see. And who who knew that there's others that are just out there circle jerking the blind, and they're doing it to do, they're doing it to themselves. Because it's all about feeling at this point, truly. And feeling the ultimate state of being void of the Father's love, meaning you believed yourself to be. Void of truth, void of life, and void of a way. Well, you're fractaled, just meandering, just things that just supposedly go to the same source. All the while, you cast it, defiling, abusing yourself and others. All while saying you're working to make it better. That's been the same old story. Of the supposed people that you worship that supposedly give you the means by which to live and this and this. That's the mechanism by which you have been just living and say, well, that's life. That's what just what it is. Amazing. Smashed. Is there stuff I need to resolve? I mean, what am I saying to myself? If you can get them thinking about that, then, you know, maybe you've done something. Yeah, you know, Tony Robbins once said, oh, once said. Oh, Tony uh, Robbins. If you get them thinking about, well, maybe I am doing something. Maybe I'm the problem and I should fix it. What a shame. 
So go out there and rearrange living room for other people and call it, pat yourself in the back. And then the person will be like, what? I didn't even ask for this living room. I don't even, what? What's going on? And the other person just like, see, I did so good. Smashed. Do as I will, they say. Yes. So people are just going to go out and meddle and everything and then say, well, why don't you just choose to live this way? And the other person is like, no, I choose this way. Do as I will. What is going on? The devil himself, who knew? Uh, it's incremental changes over the long haul, and the way you have to look at it is if these two boats are going in a parallel direction and one of them just shifts five degrees mm -hmm. over the course of time, oh. this boat is going to be in a far different place than the other boat that's going the same way it was always going. Linear thinking, vector thinking, flash, 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 flash. Of course, what's going on? Of course, he's saying all oh, this divergence. There's always going to be the one that sways away and loves the long path of this, but it's their own way. So, what's wrong with what you worship? You worship, do as I will. So, that little line feared a few degrees and it just went that way. So, right? In, your, in, the, in this same worship, as do as I will, will be the rule of the round. So just criticize it all you want, but still it goes along with what you worship. So what's the problem? Going. Yeah, and the important thing to realize as well is <clears throat> the next year is going to go by whether you're doing something about your life or not. I mean, we're we're sitting here right now. About your life. See, a year goes down, and what what yeah. have you done? Have you changed next and been approved by my experts and said yes, this person has changed their life? What a shame. Ten months are going to go by whether somebody is working to make change or whether they're not. And they may think, you know. What change? Working to make change? What change? No change. For it's a, of the works of spiritual na nature, okay? The spiritual aspect. The spiritual battle. That is the true work. In the flesh. Who knew? Because what do you see? Yes. Who knew? It's all there. For you to see. The truth. But you deny it. Just to just say, well, maybe I do need to start working on something. On myself. Yay. Oh, my God, I'm so far away. I'll never get it under control, or I'm so behind in my bills, or I'm so, um, you know, Problems. just depressed, so or I, my everything is so out of control. Victimhood to the 33rd degree. Who knew? But what is he talking about? Well, you know what? You make those incremental changes, and then, you know, pretty soon in December you go, hey, I'm way better off than I was at the end of February. Oh, I was way better than I was before. I'm climbing out of the serpent pond and just crawling. And I'm, soon I'll be the nematode, and soon I'll be the reptile, and soon I'll be the worm and some bash mouse. And then I'll live through the dinosaurs and just have some bash ape come and be born and just smash and kill all a bunch of mash and then be reborn and be mash ape number four six seven 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 wow what a se what a joke and all this mash and all these jokes of the smash what is going on and be like whoa yes I really, I'm better than I was back. Some memory that I have, and wow, it's just amazing. What's going on? Based on what? How much money you were able to save? How now your wife isn't screaming at you because you're just passed out the whole time? What is going on? Um, all these things. Well, no. You've just rearranged your and re scrambled your omelet. And sure, it might taste good for a little while until it's just completely dehydrated, smashed, turned to dust. So you must add water to it again and spin it and this and that and then, then recook it. 
your spirit cooking. Yes, abusing of the life, the water that you have to refill yourself and re-scramble the eggs. And you're cooking with, you're cooking yourself thinking you're spaghetti and your gnocchi and your all these things smashed why ultimately you're just abuser of the flesh and others and creating in your kind and filling them with defilement and telling them hey kiddo go out and live in this mass playground that I was bashed in and bashed in and now bashed you in it and now you're going to supposedly make it better. What a shame. What a shame. All in the name of progress and some sort of past twisted way of morality based on some political affiliation that you think is based in truth and betterment of the people somehow. Wow. What a shame what a shame when it's just been a true temperature testing to destroy you and demolish you from a way that was for a thousand years and now finally you think that it's been done you're waiting for the last cornerstone to be placed and to shatter all connection to the lifeline. To shatter it forever. What is the lifeline? You guessed it. The way. The true promise. Life everlasting. The word reverberates of what is said in creation. It's all written, resolved in the book of life. But yet you're relentlessly writing your own. You're the author of your own book. Yes, go out there and smash your masterpiece, theater, performance. Yes, dance, sing, spin around. And contort and contort and contort yourself into little boxes and spin fire and play yodels of yodels upon violent strokes of what? Murmur. For what? Just to get a little crumb of the cheddar, please. Crumbs of the coin. Give me some coin and cookie smash it down my gullet because I need it to live. What a shame. What a shame. So, shit, we, you made little changes and they all added up. And if you don't, by the end of the year, you're just in deeper. So every little bit matters. Yeah, I, I tell people. Every to, little bit to stay afloat. Because it promises you to stay afloat and just scare you to death. That's what it, the, the promise of floating means. Just being in a state of relentless, just paranoia, anxiety. Kill or be killed. Oh, yes, yes, they're after us. We must just say no. No to who? No to what? Exactly. What is even going on? Confused and mind flossed. Mind flossed. Your brain is truly just squeaky clean at this point. Squeaky clean and bleached. Just bleached. Just completely scrubbed down. That bash. What has he learned exactly? He's learned that people are just relentlessly worshipping in their image. And hopefully after their sessions, they listen to his brainwashing. And hopefully they can boast and swell like hot dogs. So that they may supposedly take that responsibility and, you guessed it, be rewarded by your children. And now invest in other things. Before it was your drugs, now you've invested in the child. So now your child is your drug. And now your yoga and your relentless workshops and this and this are your drug. And this, and without them, you probably get fall off the wagon, as you call it. And this and that and this and this. No, because you're clueless. You don't know what life is. Void of truth. 
Therefore, you cannot see the way. And it's just multiples of ways to you, and I'm just trying my best to stay afloat. What a shame. To write things down. I said one of the best ways to get things done is to write things down. Write down what you're trying to get done. Write down what you need to get done on a long-term <coughs> basis Make and what list. you need to get done on a short-term basis. Oh. Write off a checklist. Force yourself. Be accountable. Yeah. And listen to the dispatch guy that will smash you. So listen to him. He will knock you out. So just write relentless lists down and it works. You can just cross them off the fact that you do them and it feels so good. The reward is that. And who knew that the stuff gets done, but do the little ones first so it feels good and then move on to the next ones. Who knew people are just that void that they need to create lists in order to you know have a sense of yes i'm filling my bucket and it feels good what a shame just that that void that does that not is that not just the obvious of everyone everyone is just void trying to relentlessly fill their little bucket of feelings and just be like yes i now i have motivation yes now i feel nice things yes now i feel appreciation of what for what for who what nothing what is it smashed truly smashed why because you love it you love putting the little pieces back together so you can be okay now i'm whole or it's just a relentless path to being whole and you're just shanking yourself relentlessly as you're putting yourself together no bleeding out is what you're doing bleeding out bleeding out Oh, what bash. And of course, now this bash is going to say something about responding to lying. And so, I mean, I had Pam on and we He's both worked a lot so in deception slow. detection and interrogation techniques and stuff. And so just, and it came right at a time when, you know, Jesse Smollett is in the news about, yeah. is he telling the truth or is he not telling the truth? And then here we have this conversation about. What did you think immediately when you heard that story? Uh, I was very suspicious when I heard that yeah. story. Yeah, Jamie and I, we shut the, once the cameras were off, we're like, are these off? Oh, so they're suspicious. I was, I was right. Yay! Point for me and give me a star for the devil himself. Look, and some Jesco guy. Ooh, Jesco. Hey, Jesco. Hey, cha, cha, cha. Smashed. What is it? Smashed. Fuck that guy. That ain't yeah. real. That, no, wait. It's just, it was just... Oh, he even mocks him. Oh, it was so real. I mean, two guys in there. Don't, don't, don't jump in there. Don't smash. smash. It's, this is all a theater. This is... This is packaged. It's all... That guy who did it, apparently, who gives a bash? He's part of some brotherhood that's just doing, taking the hit. Okay, it's your turn to play this guy and do this. Okay, we'll pick um who's which 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 person is gonna do this? Okay. Um uh, all in favor, he's in favor, okay. That bash is gonna do it. Uh don't worry. You're don't worry, fine. People will go nuts. But they won't even know what hit him. They're just reacting and that's the whole point. Because after all, that person fine, that might be still in that show or whatever, but who cares? He's still rewarded. He still has position. Oh no, he just ruined his career. This he's going to jail. Is he? Well, it, even if he supposedly it goes to jail, well, no. No. They want to make you believe that it. They just now the law is coming down hard, and even actors are gonna get it. Oh, just false promise, false hope. All the while, just horrible things are happening. And not just actors are doing it. Exactly. Those who you think are taking care of you are doing it. Wow. All the way to down to the child level. Those who you think are there to take care of you are defiling you and the Using you, doing all sorts of just disgusting things, even to their own children. Who knew? Oh no, it's just some people, or just some creeps, and that we put them in jail. And this, no, 
for it is a way of total manipulation, total sorcery. Yes, who knew that by doing that to a child? It's just like you believe in the micro and the macro. Oh, the quantum and you guessed it, the field theory. Oh, and relativity. Oh, it's just infinitely big, infinitely small. Smashed. So, if you even believe in that, of course, that you have to accept that the child is the main target of this massacre, this bloodbath that you relentlessly are in a, an, appalled by constantly. You're saying, oh, it's just so horrible. We just have to vote in the right laws and policies and this and that to just get rid of it. What a shame. What a shame thinking that everyone else out there is just regular ass people. That every single person is just regular ass person. And no no trauma and no defilement has ever been done to them and no they clearly it's just image worship, yes. Because you're all living a fantasy, thinking you're participating in some collective batch. No. It's all within the param parameters. You're giving permission to choose which bucket to jump in of what you think makes you feel good. And then go and smash and spend your life in there and then just die. What a shame. Too much like a movie. Yeah. Like a bad movie. Yeah. I mean, it's nine below zero and two people are lying in wait just in hopes that he might come by at 2 a.m. Yeah. I mean... Uh, so yeah, strange. Yeah, it, it was suspicious. And, you know, he's entitled to due process, and he's going to get it. Yeah, he's, he's going to get, get it. Now oh, he's saying oh. he has some uh, untreated drug problem. So he's trying to carve out some path yeah. to explain his bizarre behavior. But there are very, there are very specific. Oh, so he's so fine. It's a drug problem. Oh, who knew that's always the scapegoat? But it all comes down to just the influence, the murmur of the abyss, the false promise. The defier, the defiance. Why? Yes. To get your piece of it relentlessly at the cost of negating its source. Specific lie behaviors that people can't really control. And like what kind of stuff? Well, for example, when, when people are <clears throat> really desperately trying to convince you they're telling the truth, mm -hmm. They'll do a lot of times what are called convincing statements. Um, rather than just telling you what they did or didn't do, they'll do convincing statements like, you know me. Ah. Uh, like somebody saying, who, who, somebody stole the petty cash in the office. I say, you know me. I give more money. I donate more money than was stolen. I mean, you guys know me. I mean, I, 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 I was employee of the week last year. You know, they're this convinced. Okay, so just rep he's saying how supposedly liars work. Okay, well, I mean, this is in your face. You think that everyone's just supposedly honest, honest Joes out there just smashing. And there's just so millions of honest Joes out there. And they're just smashing and always telling the truth relentlessly. Wow, what a shame. They can't even tell their truths to their wives, to their spouses, let alone to themselves. They're all just cowards inside, chilled up and presenting multiple masks every day and multiple moods. And it swings and sways and sways and sways and sways and sways and it's this and this and that and there and just who knows. As long as they can feel they're part of some team. What a shame. Convincing you that there's this nice guy and then they'll That's say. That's not what someone does if they're wrongly accused? No. What does someone do if they're wrongly accused? If they're wrongly accused, they'll look you straight up in the eye and tell you, I didn't do it. And if you ask them, what do you think should happen to somebody that did? An innocent person will No, this is just, by, okay, no. Mastered manipulators? Wow, who knew? It's a counterfeit. That's why you believe what you think you're living is called life. What a shame. Say, I think they should be found. I think they should be held fully accountable to the extent of the law. Somebody that's guilty will say, well, you know, I don't know. I mean, people make mistakes. I mean, you, you know, you, you, you got to give a guy a second chance. <laughs> Do you worry is, that The in thing is coaching? that they're using not a counterfeit. They're using, a, you know, life itself. They're using life itself. And just making you f distort your own image. 
compare what it is you're actually living. You're living the life. Yeah, you now you've created a, a pathway to just go and carve your your own. That is the pain. All because you have you hate. In your mind is what you consider God to be. You hate life itself because you think you should have all the things that you've ever wanted and this and how could ever all these things have, have happened to you and this and that and you just see just corruption everywhere and it's just wow it, so you hate it and ultimately you hate yourself and you are you're so afraid you're so afraid of what supposedly happens when you die or what happens you know if there's pain when you're dying all this stuff like what you have all the you fear but all based in the worship of death all of it down to the words that are used to maintain a festering wound open and watching the decay around it just melt away but no you call that life and say wow amazing you take on the pain the suffering of the world because you believe yourself to be the counterfeit all while abusing yourself to just prove yourself right in that yes the world is just it's what it's always been just smashing kill or be killed what a shame think that you're essentially coaching liars by telling people this kind of stuff and someone who does steal the money you know would be able to kind of like hey trick uh, question it's not for amateurs and, uh, uh, and um, when you it's not for amateurs oh, i don't coach li i don't pump out liars i coach though what is this there are some things that you can tell people to watch for but one of the things you do if there's somebody that you suspect is you increase their cognitive load during the interrogation and there's no way you can prepare for and there's no way you can prepare to that so he's just divulging that you know it's just you plant you just go in there and just plant out and watch it take effect and then read them and then respond just relentlessly bombard them with just wordsmith them just you know tickle them this way and that they're exactly they know and just because this person knows it's like well just this person knows that and he's the only expert wow you're bashed you know that that is actually you know it's like the tip of the iceberg of the overall mechanism that you're under and living under. Not that it's psychology or this. No. They are mechanisms by which to, to bombard you and, you guessed it, manipulate you. Wow. For that. Oh, how do you do that? Well, um, you plant a mind virus. Craft. Ooh, a mind virus. I like it. Yeah. Witchcraft. Element, manipulation, whatever you want to call it, alchemy, shamanism, all of it. Sorcery. Manipulation of the elements for what? Distortion of your image to what? Project some, to some past light worship. All when you have the life. Relentlessly everywhere showing you what it is. Relentlessly. So what, is, what do you worship? Why do you need to be shown? No. Life revealeth itself and bringeth forth relentlessly, soul. Of course. Of course the Creator revealeth all things, but you must, yes, worship life through His creation itself. Worship God. Wow, who knew? Who knew? And behave in His way. Who knew? In the ordinated way. Of the true promise. For it is written and resolved. There is resolved through the creator's creation. Who knew? But no, it had to be resolved in man's interpretation of creation. And what he thinks he's here to create himself. He's here to re recreate himself. Wow, what a shame. What a shame. Some Perry Mason type shit. Yeah. Like what do you do? Um, like... If Let's I pretend said, some money's missing. Yeah, and if I uh, said to you, um, is there any reason somebody would have told me that they saw you near uh, that cash box about the time it went missing? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now. So just manipulation. 
right? So whether or not that it was true or not, just smashing them and seeing witnessing the response, just shadow response in and out the old in and outy the old in and out technique with friction, living leaving them to be spun. Now, people talk at 125 words a minute. Oh, people talk 125 words a minute. They think at 12 to 1400 words. 12 to 1400 words per minute. A minute. Now, if it takes you five five seconds to tell me no, you took the money. <laughs> oh, and that's the face of whoa, whoa. Really? Because. Again, you're just thinking you're living some regular abashed life and everyone's just out there regular ass people. Everyone's just there. They're just regular ass people living there. They just want, they're just regular. They're the, they're the common man and woman just out there just smashing. What a shame. What a shame. No, it's all being cooked for you as you are in, you are the main guest. You are the dish. You have been cooked. You have been cooked and spirit cooked relentlessly. Because all these things, all those numbers that he just said and all the, you know, you you can process so many images per second and so many words per second and this, 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 and that, and that, and that. So, who knew that people actually put that into effect to distort your image of what you end up worshiping. Who knew? Because if I'm you weren't nervous right now, because <laughs> if, if you didn't take it, you know, you didn't take it. You right. don't need to run scenarios through your head to think who could have seen me. What right. could it have been? I mean, right. was I, the, no, I, it was, I didn't see anybody. Nobody could have seen me. What is it? But if you didn't do it. Exactly. So who knew that he just described doubt itself. So when that virus, when the abyss comes in and it says, well, I don't know this is this is where it says and you're like oh, spun 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 I'm so spun I know <gasps> this <gasps> could it be that <gasps> is it this is it that it the uh, is it this is it that or the other this and the other all because why you're past you're floating in the forbidden so of course you could you be you be that if you're around the forbidden and something spins you of course it's fine but it doesn't take you one millisecond to say absolutely not have you ever been wrong before where you see someone on television you go i think that guy's guilty and they're innocent or vice versa oh sure because if, if you really want to know for sure if somebody is guilty or innocent you need to invest a lot of time you need to get a baseline on what they normally okay who knew that that's probably why i mean somebody who's not guilty and, and people are saying you're guilty so if that person says, okay, I'm not, and they'll t stare at you in the face and say, no, and they know they're not guilty, but then they're apprehended and taken and just put in a box until they're proven that what he said was right. Amazing. So what's going on? What does that even mean? Or should that person that just said, no, I didn't do it, And the peaceful blood say, no, yes, you did it. You did it. Well, shouldn't they say, you did it, and this is how we know why, how, and this and that. And I'll just say, you did it, and we're going to smash you. So what's going on? No, it's just accusation. And defiance, really. Because somebody could be in, standing in truth, yet... What happens when somebody cannot, you know, stand again because the truth is just self-apparent. But you can either manipulate what it is that you see as a result of the truth just being there. But that only happens if there is a weak or a doubt, a weakness, a chink in the armor, so to speak, a, w a doubt, doubt, which then unthreads, unthreads. And then recreates itself in some web. And then you see it and you say, oh, yeah, it's the web. What a shame. You look like, talk like, feel like. Mm -hmm. um, and, then and then knowing that baseline, you then need to compare how they're behaving on TV. So just walking by the screen and seeing it, um, 
you might see things that would ordinarily be lie behaviors that could just be part of their personality. So if you're going to really make a judgment, uh, you, you got to put a lot of time in. You put a lot of time that I don't. I just produce and produce and film and film and film and I just screen, screen, screen. So what do you, what do you actually do? And figure it out. And what you should do before you decide you're going to be a human lie detector is do your homework and you ought to try to figure it out objectively before you... Oh, do it objectively. All right. So try and assess, point out and see if you can find a liar. But first, you must have to do the homework yourself and see things objectively. From a, you, you have, make sure you have a grasp on objectivity. Objective truth. There is such a thing. And that is it. For it is the way and the life. But no, it has to be your life. Right? So you need, oh, this guy's telling, no, it has to be that you must put in the work. Because who knew that, yes, it's about knowing the objective truth. Humbling yourself and admitting you're wrong. And following the truth, meaning the way that has been there just revealed to reverberate. You figure it out behaviorally. I mean, you ought to do your investigation, find out if somebody took the money, and you know, find out where they were. And oh, know, so then he, then he just crashes and says, "Oh, you gotta physically prove it, and this and that, and this and that." No. That's just worshiping the flash. Fingerprints and do this and do that. I mean, you ought to really objectively figure it out before you rely on these things. And so unless you get a baseline and get one-on-one -on -one with them and spend a lot. Who knew that if you have the baseline of the love of the Father, whoa, you could you could see a lie. The lie. The lies. Just shape-shifting swarm legion of lies. You don't need to oh put in the time and do your homework. Yeah, do the homework, but in the sense of, wow, well, what do you see? And are you relentlessly working the spiritual work? Or is it only just the fleshly furniture that I can rearrange? A lot of time, then you can't be. Right, and you have to put in the work to just see what the reward is and then, you oh he's like no there's no way you can tell you gotta put the years and experience and what a shame you you can't be really certain that you know whether they're telling the truth or whether they're not it's, it would be fun if it was that easy and now, some people are pretty obvious uh, yeah I heard a cop once say that when uh, people are guilty they tend to plead and cry and then when they're not guilty they tend to get angry when they're accused people that are wrongly accused are generally irate from the beginning till the end I mean the, the, every case is different. But if you're wrongly accused, that person is going to be pissed off from the minute you accuse them till the end. Yeah. And who knew that there's people that are convicted, even if they're not guilty? Who knew? And, of course, it doesn't even matter if the person is angry. That they're going to get tried because they got apprehended and this and this. So you say, well, why don't people just run if they're uh, innocent? Well... Because running is seen as guilt, is it not? Yes. But maybe people run because they know that the system is just going to do whatever it wants. Despite whether or not you know you're innocent. Wow. Who knew? Because there's like, no, oh, what's wrong with apprehending you if you have nothing to hide? And all this nonsense. What a shame. What a shame. Because it's like, I'm, they're self-righteous. Like, I, I didn't do this, and you're saying I did, and screw you. Yeah. Uh, and they don't take a step back. Right. And, and then what happens then? They'll tell them, shut up. And they're clubbed or tasered and that, and handcuffed and taken. Who knew? Because it doesn't matter if you just stand up and say, no, what are you doing? What you're doing is wrong. No, nope, you're going to get swatted and batoned across the face and put in handcuffs and nylon straps and then put in a van and processed, fingerprinted, and just bashed. Who knew? Oh, no, that doesn't happen. No, no, no. 
and in some cases probably just even disappeared. Murdered. Who knew? Who knew hundreds of thousands of children go missing? But though, they're the master suicides. They're committing just fake deaths. They're just staging their own deaths and disappearing. And now they live happily forever after with the Pipe Piper. Oh, what a shame. Because truly, the children are being defiled and just misled with advice like this and murmurs from nowhere about nothing that somehow, oh, yeah, smashed. When you you see people, they, they do these convincing statements and they're pleading for you to believe them. And then and, and anytime somebody says, now, in all honesty, usually the next thing out of their mouth will lie. <laughs> like, they say to you, oh, oh, he lost because it's true. It's just all, you know, hiccups of the bash lie that you all now, believe. Joe, honestly, as opposed to everything else you've been telling me, right. I mean, why are we we're bracketing this one out as honest? Right. Or if they invoke the deity. Oh. I as swear God to witness. God. Yeah. God as my witness. So exactly, they're telling you what exactly is just used by all these people. And of course, you look, just turn on the TV and turn on and look at the people that you worship. And they say all these things all the time. So does that make them all liars? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. No, 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 it couldn't be. No, it's just that you have some people and this and this and that. What a shame. Mm. And, you know, I, I don't know whether I have not done. Because most, t mo most people are never questioned of being liars. But... The minute that they are, you guessed it, all the spouse that he's saying will probably show up. Or they would just deny because what he's saying is some one thing, but then there's denying, 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 denying to the end. Who knew? Who knew? Because it doesn't matter. The truth could be just smashing you just in the face and you're still like, nope, it's not. It's not. It's not just exactly what I said you need to do with Jesse Smollett. But I do know when he went to the set at Fox, uh, he said, you all know me. I swear to God, I didn't do this. Mm. And I mean, there were like three or four of those kind of statements in. Fine. So who? Fine. This whole story is about some guy that lied in this. Fine. Who cares? This guy did it. And now, now you just believe that it was him that did it. No, it's happening everywhere. Day in, day out, all aiding to man to the final product that you consume as the daily dose of life. Global events, this and this. Votes passed, this and this, this and that, that and that. Smashed, just swayed and branched and just whipped to submission all while sodomizing you. In like two or three sentences there. Well, my yeah. favorite one was he's on stage and called himself a gay Tupac. That's <laughs> enough for me. That's a little narcissistic. <laughs> oh, that's a little it's narcissistic. A so they laugh about it, but no, none of these two guys are narcissistic at all. Nope. A strange thing though, like there was another one today. Uh, a guy uh, lit his house on fire, I think uh, in Chicago, and uh, said uh, he's a gay fella. And said it was a hate crime, and they, they caught him. Oh, so, uh, wow, of course. And just because these stories is like all of a sudden, uh, is it just happening? Did it just start happening? No. No. Oh. Who knew that, uh, Red, you know, just staged events have been used relentlessly? It's called intelligence plans and all this bash missions and this and this and optics of some bash world interpretation and it's of uttermost importance to assure that it is talked about in this way and remembered in such ways so as to evoke a certain bad blah 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 smashed of course but no oh it's just there's a lot of that going on you know a lot of fake crime very strange the the and then sometimes people accuse people of something very strange is it 
And of course, the actor Doctor Field just looking down. He just oh, is he uncomfortable? And someone will say, uh, "Why would why would someone make something up? Why would someone turn themselves into a victim?" I think there's a lot of clout in being a victim, especially today. <coughs> there's a lot of you get a lot of attention, a lot of love. Oh, I think oh, there's a lot of false clear. accusations and false attacks, and there's a lot of real ones. But man, when the false ones come, it just does a giant. Oh, there's a lot of real ones, but when the false ones come, oh man, that's when it really gets you, right? Giant disservice to everybody. Well, there's a fair amount of research as to why people. Wow, what a shame, Peter and the Wolf, right? The boy who called Wolf too many times. Then the real one comes and nobody goes a down. So, is, isn't that what's happening? I mean, everybody's just so numb. Just so dumb and just confused, defiled, contorted, twisted, and now it's supposedly doing something for the betterment of some bash that you don't even know and are relentlessly just oh, trying to make it better. What a shame. All the while basking in your comfort with the bash relationships that you have that will turn on you on a dime. Who knew? But no, it's just because you worship and you circle jerk with them that they keep one another around. What a shame. Do these hoaxes, and particularly hate crime hoaxes. And one of the motivation, of course, it's sympathy and attention and all that. But one of the interesting reasons that... So the motive for why some of these hoaxes take place, he says, you know, why these fake crimes take place, okay? I've read in research is that they really feel like it's emblematic of how the system treats them overall. This is just a dramatic example of it. Mm. I mean, they, they feel like... I'm oh, he couldn't wait. It's an overall way that I'm treated, so therefore I'm creating this masterpiece theater presentation of what it is to me, and therefore I reward it because this is what overall, in the grand scheme of things, I'm living. So they staged their own little Armageddon, and then it's all great, and I should be rewarded because I went through all of that suffering. Who knew that that's exactly what's being lived in the sense of people are just acting out little versions of what the overall defilement is. However, they're perpetuated by exactly what he's describing. Events, things that are created for you to prove yourself right into the next step forward. All while you've been you've been in defilement the whole time, and as far as y you're concerned, because you have no reason why to question what you were born into, and so so and so, and the 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 image that is worshipped, and the you know the supposed thing, the the dream of humanity, and this and this smashed. So what's going on? I'm treated this way anyhow. Ah, uh, so they're just I'm discriminated against. I suffer bias. I'm put down. This is just a focused example of that. So I'm really not lying. I'm just role-playing how I'm overall treated. Oh, wow. So those are false flags? Mm, no. Because really it's like, okay, now we're at a, since we've been doing all this defilement, now it's, of course, wow. How are you going to wordsmith that? They feel victims, so therefore they create a supposed scenario of victimhood themselves. So that then the optics come across as just another example of the supposed victimhood that you believe yourself to be living. Mm. So starting a war, the same. Oh, the, we were attacked. See, they burned us down. Now we must go and smash them. So the same. You need, you need, you know, to have a convincing statement to prove yourself right in a particular direction that you want, a particular result. And it's clear what the particular result of man has been. Manipulation of status quo, dominance of status quo. Who dominates Groundhog Day? Who relentlessly does it? Who's, in, who's champion? And ultimately, the 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 reality is, what is one worshiping? Because 
life truly is, it worships. It expresses to its fullest and glo- in all glory what it is. But no, we don't see, you don't see. So they justify it in their mind. They're just going to bring all this treatment into one example to bring it into focus. And so while it's a phony deal, it really is truthful representation of what their life is really like. Exactly. Because that whole thing, it's a staged, it's staged, it's a setup. It's truly telling you what it is. It's a setup perpetuated by man for himself to perpetuate his own glory image of what he says it is and how it is and and you should hate these people and you should create laws for hate crimes and this to stop people like me doing it to you but I'm doing it to you anyway because I'm showing you what it is it's just so deplorable and it's hilarious but it's right in your face and you you will stand on your high horse and say yes I would never do that I'm such a good person smashed Perfect, perfect little worshiper of the light, just smashing and Kong, beating yourself Kong, like just Kong, 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 that cranium just down and down your spine, relentlessly trying to top it to the, you know, the earth with your serpentine kundalini. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. You like they justified in that way. Oh, how weird. Yeah, that's yeah. That's oh, how deep weird. psychological shit yeah, right there. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a that... deep psychological putty, is it? No, it's not. Because it's what's being done. It's just Stretch ooh, done to you. But that's a weird one. We like you write it out like that, put it in your mind that way. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It's it's strange too because it gives people this um this it's just this giant public show to watch now. Yeah. And I hate that. I mean, what a talented young man. I mean, it is a public show. Who knew? It's just part of the theater to, to massage you and to just temperature chuck you into which, which, what, which, which path will it be today? Oh. Because it couldn't be that there's one way. No, no, no. There's multiple paths. And which one will it be today? What a shame. I mean, is he? He's, I've, the times that I've seen, I don't watch that show a lot, but the times I've seen him on there singing and assuming it is his voice and he's singing, mm. uh, extremely, oh, talented, extremely talented. talented. I find oh. a lot of talented people are fucking crazy. <clears throat> well, you know, somebody said that uh, <laughs> somebody said that the really talented singers and actors were the weird kids from high school that were in drama and all of that. Oh, for sure. Real yeah, friends. for sure. Know. So yeah. that to him is the messed up people are the effed up people that this other bash said that they are? Wow, what a shame. Um, various levels of crazy obviously not all deceptive but you know some of the most brilliant actors are just completely out of their mind and that's one of the reasons why they're so good at acting because yeah. they can look uh, my friend my friend Wayne Fetterman had a uh, bit they did about it on stage and he's like guess what it's not fucking normal to be able to just cry Yeah. he goes you could just cry and pretend something's wrong yeah. and cry he's like that's yeah. crazy these are crazy people Yeah. exactly just cry on cue bring yourself to that shadow place and do it now action cry and cut. Beautifully done. Next. What is that? Exactly. Just a split mind. A, some, a master sorcerer. Worshipper of Kabbalah, of this, of all the terrors, and this, and all the synchronicity of all the points of light, and this, and this, and how it's the perfect science, and this, and that. Smashed. What are you talking about? Learn to mark the seasons. And signs, what do you know? What are you living? Exactly, you are the living. But no, you're rather the fantasy of the abyss. Yes, you're rather the fantasy of the abyss. The false promise, who knew? Yeah, and and, and you really can't go to a certain place. Oh, well, you can't. No, it's diverting. If you don't have a little of that in you. Uh, yeah. My, my dad used to always say, when he's working with patients, he would say, there's something about that old boy I can't stand about me. Because <laughs> he'd say... You- there's something in that old boy I can't stand him on me. You can't see it in them if you don't have a little of it in you. Yeah. And you can't see it in them. So you're blind to the world if it's not in you. Is that it? Mm, no. A child, you know, is when he grows up and see and it, when a child grows up and witnesses true the hypocrisy of the parent. Okay? That's not because the child is filled with it. No. It's because it could see what it is. And then it it is totally traumatized. And that's the beginning of the split self. The split 
aspect that you call all oh, oh this or this or that or that. No, a little of him and me because I see it in him, and there there must be a little. Uh, no. What a shame. I yeah. think there's some truth in oh, that. Oh, there's 100 percent truth in that. that there's is only big... defilement in people because they could see defilement and they say, "See, I'm the same bash bash." Because you were, you were bashed that way, okay? Because truly, you're not born that way in the sense of just immediately. Oh, you hate your dad because he beats you because you're a wife beater. What a shame. What a dare because it's just hypocrisy and just some liar and detecting lies when they're telling you how they're doing it to you smashed